spiral. It's the makings of an herb spiral. An herb spiral is a permacultural design whereby you maximize the surface area of your growing space. If you were to plant everything on a flat surface, like across a rectangular raised bed, you would have bits in the back that you couldn't quite reach and you would just take up a massive amount of space. And we live in Somerville and it's the densest city in the country and we don't have space for these sprawling things. So you take the surface area of this rectangle and you curl it up into a spiral. And so you get a whole bunch of surface area because you take advantage of this vertical space mm -hmm. as well as the horizontal space. And that's really great. That is really great. in urban environments where there's not much space to speak of. How did we build it? So we built it by taking branches and we cut them at progressively higher heights so that it starts out back here really, really short and then it will get a little bit higher and higher and higher around here in a spiral pattern. So think like snail shell. Yeah, there are all these spiral patterns in nature and we can learn from them and mimic them in our own designs, a type of, of growing of human intervention that is more mesh, enmeshed with how nature does things. So instead of having a giant rectangular bed that takes up a ton of space and you can't quite reach the stuff that's in the back or in the middle or whatever, you compact it into a spiral shape. We made an herb spiral, isn't it so beautiful? It's like one of the most beautiful things I've ever made. It looks like a seashell, it looks like an embryo, that's the really crazy thing. It's growth that resembles growth, that resembles growth that resembles more growth. <laughs> so what's the point of the levels? There are many points of the levels. One is to take advantage of, is to take advantage of the vertical as well as horizontal space. By spiraling it around and up, you maximize the surface area to volume. <laughs> More surface area, less volume with this design. And what's the point of the pot on the top? It is clay pot irrigation. It's kind of silly to water things from the top because really you're trying to water the roots, not mm -hmm. the plant itself. So what the terracotta pot does is it will slowly seep water out into the soil and part of that is dictated by the plants themselves. <laughs> and people around the world have been irrigating this way for thousands and thousands of years. But we have to say that it's from the dumpster. Oh, right. All these things, all these things here, they came from the trash. Mm -hmm. So you can go inside a dumpster and you can sort through with muck and find things that are really extremely alive. And they've just been cast aside because, you know, this sage is no longer worth $3.99 because it's a little wilty relative to the perky sage. So you can take these things that are full of life Mm -hmm. in a space of death <laughs> and you can put them in soil and they can grow and they can be beautiful and they can nourish you and enrich a space and grow in a thing that resembles growth at home on so many levels. <laughs> yeah. And that's why this is great. It's really great. So let's give it to work. So here we have lavender, sage. This sage looks pretty healthy. More sage, less happy, oregano, sage again. Time. We don't know about this time. Oregano, more sage, more thyme, lemongrass, sage again, oregano, and lemongrass. Wow. I wanted to have a dumpster garden. Now I actually have a space to plant the garbage that I find and make it distinctly not garbage. And it's really wonderful. Bye. Permaculture stands for permanent agriculture, or at least that was the original breakdown of the term, permanent agriculture permaculture. When it was described to me,